Hello everyone. So in this segment, we will see uh, about a different type of parameter passing known as call by reference. So uh, we said that in call by value, we send actually a copy of actual argument. But in call by reference, we provide the access to the caller's actual argument, not a copy of actual argument. We send the actual argument. Okay. So the caller's data means caller's data, the function which, which is calling another function. Okay, the caller's data can be modified by the caller function. So typically it, it is used for the input function, but uh, let's see some example. All right. So So uh, let's see we have a function. If this is a call by reference in that case in that case we use the symbol with the data type we use the ampersand symbol okay so integer variable name we uh, we use that like that or we can also use the variable name and then ampersand symbol sorry the data type the variable name uh, and with the variable name we use the ampersand symbol okay they both means the same but uh, but we have to use the ampersand symbol uh, attached with the uh, data type or with the variable name okay so this is uh, one of the two ways all right so here we are sending uh, uh, by looking at the how we are passing the parameter by looking at that using the ampersand symbol you can see that we are passing the parameter as a call by reference okay so here what we are doing okay we are actually sending the actual parameter okay we are sending the actual argument by actual argument means we are actually sending the address of the argument okay how this is works so let's say we have a main function okay so as we know for each function we are uh, at, uh, for each function it will uh, have a memory allocation and in that memory allocation we are going to have the memory for each of the local variable so let's see for main we have a memory actually it has a separate name so uh, it um, maintains a data structure okay we'll know about that more detail in our data structure class okay so this data structure has a special name known as a stack all right and it adds each function as as a stack for example when main function will call another function it is going to add it at the memory for this function the caller function at the top of the main function okay that's how it will form a stack okay so anyway um, for the main function it will create the memory allocation for let's see we have first num okay we have second num okay so there will be memory allocation for first num and second num okay so then it will call the function get numbers okay so when it will get the when it will see the function call it will go to the definition of the function okay now here what we are sending from the ampersand symbol we are seeing that we are actually sending the actual argument okay we are actually sending the actual argument means for that function it is not going to create a separate allocation for uh, input one or input two it is going to get the actual memory allocation actual memory allocation for first num and second num okay so let's see here we have the main function and we have the variable first num and second num so here when we will get the uh, our argument uh, we'll get the parameter when we'll see the parameter what actually this parameter will get this parameter will get the address of first num this is going to get the address of first num and this is going to get the address of second num okay means we are not actually sending the copy of the actual argument we are sending the actual argument itself we are sending the address of first num and second num okay so that means here 
for uh, get number i mean there we, there is uh, they are not going to be considered as local variable what they are they are actually the address of the actual argument okay now what will happen when i will take a input for input one let's input one value is 10 so this 10 value will be assigned for first num okay because you can see the address is same and that's how we know each of the variables uh, right we know each of the variable means compiler knows each of the variable by their address okay so when input one will get the value 10 means the first num of main function will get the value 10 so input one input two will get the value 20 the first uh, second num will get the value 20 okay So what happens in the call by reference whatever we will do with this variable they are going to they are actually the same variable uh, like the argument they are actually same variable that we are sending as an argument okay so whatever we do with this variable they are going to uh, update the very uh, they are going to update the original argument from the caller function okay so this is our caller function so whatever we will do with them they are going to affect okay the argument from the caller function so let's see for the swap value so what we are doing so now here it will get the input so the first num value has 10 second num value is 20 sorry 10 and 20 then it will call another function swap value so let's go to swap value and you can see that this is also an um, call by reference we are passing the parameter as a call by reference so we are passing the parameter as a call by reference so that means this will get the address of first num this will get the address of second num okay this is a local variable so for each function there will be a stack okay it has also stack it will have a stack get numbers but uh, you can see that in this um, uh, for this function there is no actually local variable okay but for swap values there is a local variable temp okay so it will create a separate memory allocation only for this function uh, for temp all right but not for variable one and variable two because they are going to get the address of first name and second name okay so temp will be variable one which is uh, variable one which is 10 so variable 1 will get the value of variable 2 which is 20 so the variable 1 will be uh, 20 okay you can see that variable 1 will be 20 means this one will be 20 and variable 2 will be temp which is 10 so this one will be 10 okay and here it will get the temp value will get the value 10 okay so that's the only change will happen for swap value function okay but we are doing uh, whatever we are doing with the parameter variable 1 and variable 2 it is actually affecting the values in the caller function okay because we are sending the address we are sending the actual argument okay all right so in the show result you can see it is actually called by uh, ref it is actually called by value okay from the function uh, declaration you can see that it is actually called by value so what happens it is it is taking the value output 1 and output 2 from here okay all right so when uh, when you are back from swap value function what happens your first num becomes 20 your second num becomes 10 okay now now you are actually calling a function show result first num is 20 second num is 10 okay now with call by value what happens you go to the function definition there is a stack for show result okay it's a call by value so output one output they are local variable to this function so there will be output one output two okay now when you call the function you actually here you send the value of the argument you send the copy of the argument okay so output one value you send the value of first num 20 
value of second num 10 okay so it will print in reverse order the numbers are 20 the numbers for output 2 is 10 okay you can see uh, now it is uh, doing everything actually inside this function it is not going to affect anything in the color function main function okay so that's the difference between call by value and call by reference okay so when we will run uh, if we in if we input the integer 5 and 6 in reverse order they will be printed as 6 and 5 okay we are actually swapping the value okay we are swapping the value for the original variable okay original argument so what actually we are really passing in we are passing a reference back to the caller's actual argument by reference means actually the memory location okay the memory location so here as we are saying you have a main function let's see you have variable a and b okay so you are calling a function you are calling a function from the main function if you have a variable like swap okay integer a integer b okay now from the main function you are calling a function like okay so to this function swap all right uh, this swap is going to get the value a as, as the original address of the original argument and b will get the address of the original argument okay so whatever you will do inside this function with a and with b this is going to affect the original color function okay so 20 30 it will affect in the color function so what we are sending we are sending the reference okay we are sending the reference or the memory location of the actual argument okay now whatever it will do with the argument it is actually affecting the original variable original argument because you have the memory allocation it known as the address so each variable gets a unique address and by that address actually our compiler knows which variable is which variable okay for example you have uh, if uh, i mean you have a like a variable a it has a one memory allocation variable b it has a another memory allocation each memory has an address okay by that memory address our compiler can differentiate which variable uh, uh, differentiate between different variables okay now here uh, the thing is that we can see um, when we are sending the reference means actually we are sending the address of the original variable original argument so sometimes it could be very dangerous okay because i mean the uh, because i mean what happens uh, inside the function like you have a caller function caller function is calling another function okay so that means you are this caller function is giving access to this function it can change anything in the caller function okay so when you are passing a parameter using reference you are giving access to your variable okay to the function you are calling so this function can change anything okay this function can changes this value of the parameter from the caller function all right so sometimes it can be very dangerous okay sometimes it can be desired i mean sometimes we are going to need that but not always not all the time all right but let's say we want to protect the data but still we can pass uh, we, we want to pass uh, that by reference okay what does it mean that let's see i have a equals to 10 i have b equals to 20 so what i want the main want to call a function okay uh, a function let's see just a print function okay you want to call the function you want to call you want to access those value means read the value okay all right but you don't want that function to make any changes in the main function okay you don't uh, you just want to give access to the memory allocation but only for read purpose okay like only for read only 
okay what happens actually it um, you can see that in the call by reference uh, uh, the very uh, the function uh, each of the function if it's a call by reference each of the function doesn't have to have a separate memory allocation for the parameters right so it actually saves some space for the memory allocation for the local variable if it's a call by reference okay so in some cases uh, the caller function may want to call a function okay it may give the access with the memory allocation means you can pass the parameter as a call by reference but you want to make the argument read only means this function can only read the variables but not write anything okay it can happen okay i mean it, it uh, you may need that so in that case what we can do we can send the parameter as a call by reference but with a modifier constant okay so this modifier is we write that if, if using this keyword const okay so it is stand it stands for constant what it means that this function can directly access the memory allocation for a and b all right but from that function it will not be able to make any changes to these variables okay it will not be able to make any changes for this parameter one and parameter two if you are going to use the constant modifier means these variables are only read only you can access the memory allocation you can read them but you cannot make any changes okay so um, parameters and argument we are actually using sometimes we are using them interchangeably and sometimes you uh, you may feel confused which one is parameter which one is argument but actually uh, the thing is that we can sometimes also use them interchangeably the true meaning is that when we do the function declaration and function definition the term